Lord, forgive me for the solo queue I'm about to ruin. This man right here is obliterating the Korean server. Playing not Singe top, not Singe mid, Singe bot. He's going up head to head against Marksman and saying, Your role's useless, I'm gonna flip you and I'm gonna kill you. He's cooking at the moment, rank 5 Korea. He might actually be onto something. His build's a little bit wacky. His runes, fleet footwork, Nimbus cloak, Scorch. He's aggressive, ladies and gentlemen. I'm keen to break it down, but before we do that, a quick word from today's sponsor. Guys, I've been using Displate for over six years in my backgrounds, and as you've probably noticed, I've recently partnered up with them. And you guys won't believe what they sent me this week. Look at this. This is Jin, the new texture plate. It is absolutely insane. I'm definitely going to be sprucing up and changing over my background. And I think there's even a smaller one there as a comparison. And if you guys have been living under a rock and don't know what display is, they are durable metal posters. You're able to stick on your wall without damage, and then you put the sticker on, you put the magnet on, you put the display on. Take the display off, take the magnet off, take the sticker off, wall is fine. So damn easy. And they're so damn easy to interchange. Watch this. I'm gonna put the gin one, I think it's gonna be better. Oh, look at that. So quick, so easy. Damn. And it's such a genuinely cool way to invest in your passions. They've got over a million different designs. Absolutely everything you can think of. Star Wars, Marvel, Elden Ring, Rust. Every game, every movie, they've got you covered. And right now they're running massive discounts, guys. So you got to get in quick. Use my link tl.gg forward slash displate midbeast or use my promo code midbeast to get the best deals. Jumping in the laning phase now. If you're expecting anything other than pure chaos, then I don't know what your idea of Singe bot would look like. But he pairs it with Leona, Nautilus, Pike I've seen, even Yumi. Um, level 1 doesn't look too good. It's survival mode, okay? Unless you're into like a Nautilus or a Pike or something that can just pull them in. Just hang back and wait for level 2 where you will ghost and flip them and kill them. The fleet footwork is obviously to survive that early game poke. That's all it is. A lot of Singe will run Conqueror. This guy doesn't like it. Don't know what is... Where he's come from. Level... Mm, I lied. Hits level 2 there. Bang. Leona gets the stun. Auto. Qs. Are they going to be able to get this finish here? Might need to run out. Can they get it? Can they get it? Ward. Gonna go back in. Flashes. He wanted that kill so badly. Flips the Aphilios. And... Trust me, this is every early game. No one knows what to do against Singed AD Carry. They don't know. AD Carries, especially in low elo. They don't know how to play position. This guy likes to go boots of speed. Swiftness boots. He's everywhere. Are they Krugs getting contested at 5 minutes? He's there. Dragon? He's there. He's speeding, he's roaming. But not only that, in this meta where the support is roaming so much. Damn, this is a good look at this, look at this good game setup. Not even playing. The support is normally roaming heaps, right? Singe is a laner that if, if if all goes to shit, you can go and start trolling and proxying and doing whatever you want and survive by yourself. You're pretty you're pretty damn tanky. Now he doesn't go a tank build. I'm not gonna ruin the build, but he does not go a tank build. He does damage, gentlemen. True, will we be seeing this at worlds? No. Lehens is at worlds. But that's Singed the port. That's a different story. And just as I said, Leona just roams, right? He's just going to sit down here and try not to die. Most AD carries here. Sit there and complain. Where is my support player? Singed doesn't care. He doesn't care. Don't come, bot. We're chilling. We're waiting. We're waiting for our summoners. And then we go again. Jarvan hovering. This actually could be bad. It's KT Piosik. Thank you, KT, for allowing T1 to go to worlds. We do appreciate your sacrifice. Um, the LPL definitely doesn't appreciate your sacrifice. Apparently, the LPL fans are spamming KT and saying, um, What have you done this for, bro? We thought T1 weren't making it at Worlds this year. We thought we were fine. We thought we were in the clear. Sorry, LPL. T1's at Worlds. They've been gifted. Now, I'm not going to make my prediction for what's going to happen at Worlds. Because that's for another video. Also, gentlemen, genuinely, big shout out to Displate. In the background, you probably saw in the spot, like, Displate is goaded. Spice up your room. It's been in my backdrop for years. I pay for Displate. 
I'm saying this outside of sponsored time. I pay for my own disc plates over the years as I was, I was starting streaming to make my stuff look better, and I still have them. And they're still on my walls. And they're not falling down and not damaging my walls. As Lena goes for the all-in. Cleanse comes out from the Philios. We don't have any summoners, so I don't know if we're able to gap close. Ooh. But we have boots and you don't. So you're dead. And we're going to get a wild talent coming down here. I don't know if they're... It's Korea. What am I saying? They're going to look for the dive. Senna has no sums. Leona should tank first. Singe gets the flip. On a killing spree. Dark Seal. I mean, we're off to the races. There's not really more, much more to say here. Other than, let's get Dragon, let's get Krugs, let's take over the game. I've seen this guy roam all the way to top to dive the top laner, who's a Yasuo. Perfect. Hate you, Yasuo. Disgusting mains. It's big. The CSing. He actually doesn't CS too bad. But it's not a 10 per minute Gumi Yushi special. It's solid. He gets items. Even when he gets behind, he'll still get items and become somewhat relevant. So I'm going to speed us to the lane. Because I just want action. That's what we're all here for. Now, our flash is not up, but our ghost is almost up. Let the wave come in. Get all the CS. If they misstep, Leona should go in, and we hit ghost and we flip. Early objective control from Talon, probably not going to be viable. I'm trying to think of what other disgusting support picks you could pair this with. Leona flashes, Singe hits the goo. You can't do anything on the goo. Flipped. You can't do anything on the goo. You can't move. You can't flash. Doesn't even matter. Even he didn't have it, but he, he didn't. Even if he did, nothing he can do. We get that singe. We get that stinky trail. Like, are you what? Like, I'm watching this and I'm saying, poor 80 carries. You poor little things because... Do you need an 80 carry in this game right now in order to be able to win games? No. You don't. There's plenty of damage. In this comp, a specific... Let's say, I mean, look, if you had a bunch of AP and you had Maokai top or some crap, yes, you probably would run out of damage. But this game, you don't need it. You do not need extra damage. It's fine. You have plenty of AD damage. We're 5-0. Boots of Swiftness. Dark Seal. Don't you dare stop his base. Don't make him angry. Gets the Leandries. Gets the horny guys into Leandries. And once again, I'm going to speed us back to lane. Hopefully everyone's having a really good week. Philios is trying to make it. Philios actually is doing pretty well on the patch, by the way. Flipped. Tower. Idiot. See you later, buddy. Flash from Santa. You're dead next time we get it on you. Like, what other? What, what else can you pair this with? It's just hard CC. The singed games that I watched him play with, with Pike were probably some of the best. Leona's really good as well. It's just anything that is roaming and that has CC. Yumi also is cooked, but running Singed Yumi bot is a little bit of a risk. And I'm not going to lie, like, you can sit in between and proxy and not let the AD carry come to tower. They don't do it, but they could. And I don't... Does, is he safe from a dive or not? I have a feeling he's not safe from a dive. Leona goes in. We're actually tanking here. Leona's tanking. She falls for the kill. We're 8-0. We're 8-0. We're 8-0. At this point, the enemy team's probably all flaming the bot lane. When in reality... Oh my god, we're, not, we're diving in. Okay. Uh, we just flash for fun now, I guess. The enemy team is just flaming your bot lane at this point. They're just saying... What? How are you losing a Singe bot? This is against KT Pyo. This is against some big names, guys. Like, not low elo. This guy's like high elo Korea, by the way. Running over the top of the best 80 carries in the game. Now, are we worth a thousand gold bounty? Yes. Are we going to give it over? Yes. Do I like it? No. Is what it is. We move on. We don't dwell. Leona roaming top. Is it Pizang? I don't think so. Oh my god, that was clean. But as always, CC wins the battle of skill. Skill versus CC, CC wins. Point and click, hit that shit. Bang. Bob's your uncle. As we came steaming down the mid lane with our Leandris. And I'm wondering if he even go... What the hell just happened? Did you hear that sound? I 
as we come steaming out of the base with our Leandries to the mid lane. We're not going bot lane anymore. So we're still getting Nico sounds. I don't know why. And this is usually where the shenanigans begin. It's already 10 minutes and he's swapped. He's got the bot lane tower and he's already swapped into the mid lane to cause more chaos. He wants to dance and fight around the dragon, get vision. Honestly, Jarvan sounds pretty good in, into uh, a singe. So does uh, Hui. So I don't know how this mid to late game is going to go, but... Bro, you got a big old lead and you got to utilize that. Because enemy Hui is farming up and Nephilios is going to outscale you. Enemy team sack the dragon. Good decision, honestly. Problem with this is that you can't get prior against a Hui. So what's the game plan? I don't know the mid game. The early game went phenomenally, but how the hell do we accelerate from the mid game? Because now I feel like you're kind of stuck. Oh, Ophelios is the deepest you've ever seen. That's what she said. And that looks like a dead Ophelios to me. And that minion doesn't look like a normal minion. Possibly is Nico. TP comes in for Huey. Ophelios got CC'd. He gets the Talon kill. And this is probably the comeback for the enemy team. Holy... Korean away is not to be messed with. Nico goes low. We're just going to chunk out the mid lane. We are not involved in whatever the hell this is. That's not our shenanigan. Not my way, not my problem. So we get two plates. Going to get some objective timers up. Hmm. Yasuo is making easy work of the top lane tower. And what looked like a free win is becoming a little bit harder as I'm trying to calculate how the hell we get this dub. Roam top. Oh my god, this Yasuo is good. This Yasuo is good. This is not good. He's going to get a Blade of the Wrong King and shred us. We've made our way to the top wit. We've gone from bot to mid to top. I don't know why. I, don't, I need to see a replay of what happened here. Is that the Ballast on Quinn? What is this? He's in Korea? Jesus. Well, top lane tower is ours. We got a minute and a half left of plates. And Void Grubs have spawned. Listen, Leona's just trying to keep catch up. And this is what he does. Creates chaos. Don't be playing Singe and expect to play a slow 20 CS per minute tempo game. You're looking to... Why do I keep getting the Nico sounds? Stop it. She's in my head. She's in her own head, bro. She. Oh my god, she missed the Q. Yasuo, play the wrong king. He's full build. Careful now. Piosik moves in. Tank Jarvan. Tank Jarvan. Do we not have any. This is not a good fight. This is not a good fight. This is not a good fight. Oh my god. This is not a good fight. Is it a good fight? I don't I don't think it's a good fight. Yasuo ult, Jarvan ult. I think you're both dead. I think whenever your support does this, just let the support die, man. No one cares about... So Quinn, clean up. No one cares about support's life. No offense. I, I apologize. It was fun. No one cares. Let the sub die. That's what they're there for. They're there to go in front line. If the play's bad, they die for you. Don't go in and ruin your tempo. And Quinn is going to die, and we have a textbook solo queue throw. Everybody got confused where to be. They couldn't keep up with the Singe technology. Now, Quinn has hit Profane Hydra. Talon, this is the mo Talon, Quinn, Singed. I, I, do, I never would, you would never want to verse this. But, within 1.5k gold, I think this might be a little bit of a game. And, Grubs have still not been done. Leona doesn't know where to be. I don't know where to be. Nico does though. Finds the Aphelios. Flip. Enemy bot lane. Clocking in 14 deaths at 15 minutes. On, on track. And I think... 
we need to be a little bit careful here. Mm, this way hurts, this way hurts. Problem is the fear on the way is gonna completely... Yes, any flare? No, no, you're all dead. You're all dead once again. Oh god, Lord Jesus, sweet mother of god, help me. This might actually be P-Zang on Yasuo. He... Talon goes in. Kills the Jarvin. Chaos. Chaos. The Singe Master Plan maybe actually will work. Ways out of mana. And that's going to mean the end of the fight. So we go Leandri's Shadow Flame. And if you think we're done with damage, we're not. More damage. Pack more damage on top of that. Magic and true damage. Critical strikes enemies below 40% health. Dealing 20% increased damage. Yes. We're full AP Singed. Don't get it twisted. Singed. Tank Singed enjoyers. Ilios gets the solo on the dragon. Good champion. And... With all the solo laning and the and, and the by himself that this Aphilius has done, he's back into the game. He may actually have a level lead. He's pretty damn close to it. Singe has been hovering around his teammates. And I can see in lower elos... I mean, it's probably happening, isn't it? Why people panic with this pick? Because everybody wants to play the... It reminds me of Dangerous Boy Addy's gameplay where everybody has their set procedures of how a game unfolds. And he just... You don't have an AD carry, so... Luckily. Well, smart. this Nico is making good picks. Well, we just run it down mid. When in doubt, run it down mid. We get a kill. We get our 10th kill of the game, actually. And... Looking at the levels. I think it's looking pretty good. We're going to pick up the Herald now. It's going to give a lot of free time to Yasuo down here, who already has a bit of a lead. Yasuo doing solid at the moment, but actually going to be getting buffed next patch. Buffed before Irelia, who's struggling. Yasuo and Yone will never see a patch. Quote me on this. Yasuo and Yone will never see more than one patch of being weak. Never. Why, Drew? Because they have some of the highest win rates and they're the coolest champions. But what does that mean? That means they have the most skins and the most expensive skins. What does that mean? Well, the more skins equals the more money. The more money, because more money right games make, that employs the skin team to make more skins. The cycle continues. I have been assured by Riot. I've been there in person. I have said to them, does your patches... I've said this to writers. I said, does your patches and your balance team work with your, sin, with, with your skin team? For example, if there's a skin coming up, are you buffing a champion to make it more prominent in the meta? Therefore, the skin's going to sell more. They told me, to my face, no. Have I been lied to? Am I... Am I... Am I... Uh, uh, look, man. Am I meant to sit here and think this is a company that doesn't want to make money? It's a business. I get it. Just tell me yes. I won't judge you if you just tell me yes, but why tell me no? Why tell me no? You're slapping me in the face and then saying to me, I didn't slap you in the face, you slap yourself. No, I did not. I would never slap this such a beautiful face, the moneymaker. Unless somebody was into it. I'm not going to get into what people are into and what they aren't. I don't judge. King shaming is not about. And we get a big old bloody team fight here. We do have flash and we flash in the middle of everybody. We kill the Jarvin and we're going to... We're going to dance off. Gold is pretty much even here. Quinn, you see, this is the rightest sponsor of Aphelios. He's doing his own chaotic thing. Quinn should kill it before the tower goes down, thank Christ. Harold gonna charge. Yasuo is two and a half. And I'm pretty sure. Oh my god, Leona, run. Run. Leona lives, thank God. And yes, he has had games with 15 deaths. Yes. Don't go ahead and get it twisted. I always tell you guys, 
Now, this playstyle doesn't work every game. Some games, you're gonna get reported and you're gonna run it down. Uh, this is a good game, thank god. Um, does he have bad games? Yes. I did see some very large deaths in his match history. We're gonna ignore that. We're gonna pickpocket. Pocket pick. P find pick. What's the word? What's the word? What's the word? What's the word? We're gonna get it. We, 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 we're gonna get a good game recording, okay? No one wants to see a singe go 20 deaths. If we want to see someone inting, I'm gonna watch Bows. Nico? Wow. Wow. What a goddamn ultimate by Nico. They're not gonna be able to get the Baron. Leona's gonna stick onto it. We got Chaos. Singe is not even alive yet. They're not done. Jarvin, Piosik. Hey, 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 spectator. Jarvin, Piosik. And it just ends up being a classic Korean trade. That should be dead, right? Oh my god, game design. Brilliant. And it looking like uh, the protobelt is on the way for the Singe, the little gap closer. I like these AP. Mordecai is Singed. Someone that just needs a little bit of a push to get a gap closer. I like getting the protobelt in the mid game because it might not be the most mathematical. I like that. I like, I like an enemy. DC, that's what I like. It's gonna improve Alex. Is it cheating? Yes. Do I care? No. Dragon. Third of the game. This Quinn is doing really well. Profane opportunity. Making a way into Edge of Night, probably. I love a good edge. And that's gonna be a free dragon. Quay is nowhere to be found. Enemy, they don't know yet about this inside job, potentially. And it's weird, a Korean... It's normally... When you're playing Korea, it's usually the English names are DC because they're normally the Chinese players. And they're always using some... Korea go to the internet. China using always, like, VPNs and stuff, and they always have DC come back, come out. Oh, we're gonna head back. We should have enough for the proto here. Bang. Three items. This is the core. After this, build whatever you want. Hourglass, Void, Crypto Bloom. I don't like Crypto Bloom. I think Void is. I just, I don't think there's ever a scenario Crypto Bloom's better. I'd like to debate somebody on that. Just Void stuff. Raw stats. So good. Praying the way comes back to make it a bit more competitive. Yasuo yeah, so holding the fort. A little bit of zoom out as we enter the late game. Nico finds the picks. Ble Beautiful combo. It's done. That should mean a. That should mean a Baron. Full map control. Four v five. How easy? They're on the timeout. Doesn't mean a Baron though. Thank you, Way, for coming back. Nice little one minute handicap. I'll take it. What is the goal? Here we go. Quinn is up gold, okay. We are in the bot lane when Aphelios has actually been making his way into the side lanes and farming well. We could still have a game. Center scaling. My stacks, I'm gonna guess at this time, 24, 70, 71. 74. God, I'm so good at guessing Quinn stacks just off a of feel. I get a feeling, I'm not gonna say where. But I can just tell. I'm pretty good with um, Nasus Q stacks as well. I always like to run a little bit of a gamble in my chat. They can predict it without no knowledge within three seconds. I'll gift you a sub. Have I gifted a sub before? A few. Hey, in this economy, not too many, but a few. Sways back into the game. And it's going to be a little bit of a Baron dance from here. Quinn sitting side, has the edge. Singe still level 13. We're not that accelerated in the levels, I'm not going to lie. It's been perma group. We need another one of those sick Nico catches. But it looks like they're conceding vision around the Baron. So you go in, you set the vision, you set a trap, and then you set up the Baron. Enemy team moving in. Leona misses the stun. Goo goes out. Nico. I look at this movement by Nico. Just sits there, waiting to see if they walk through the pincer. 
Nothing yet. Leona's not dying. Warmogging. Nico finds it. She's the GOAT! We've hit Ghost. We still have Flash. Oh, what are you gonna do? Kill me? What are you gonna do? Kill me? I doubt that. I doubt that very much. And we're in the base. Yasuo? Yasuo can definitely kill this in. She's hunting. Can we bait it? We have Flash. Flash E. Flash E. Flash E. Does anybody want to help me? Please. Please, someone help me. Don't base. I know you wouldn't base. Oh, you're going to get flopped and you're going to die. That's an ace, ladies and gentlemen. 12 4 11. Executed. And we're approaching 7k gold lead. How much gold do we have in the kitty? 2.3k for the singed. What's the buy gonna be? Hourglass. Wants to go in deep. Nico. Aphelios is actually trying so hard. Really good vision plays here. One shot. Nico's going in. Doesn't have some. It's just gonna hit the ultimate. She will go down. Nice. She will go down. Oh my god. Oh no. Wave flank. Where's the singe? Where's the singe? I see him. He's in the bot side. Shut down to the Aphelios. Singe picks up the Aphelios. Singe is going to go down though. Not that bad of a result. Not that bad of a result. And they can win this with the way if you're able to get any type of CC on to the Talon. Which you're not going to. Medjai's as well. That's a bold bite. Dragon's up. Set up the win con. Philios three items. No sums though. Does have cleanse, I suppose, into the Leona ult. I'm gonna watch Talon do a couple of backflips. Set up the dragon. They're on soul point. Goes in. We find the center. Center does have flash with flash predicted, but not bit. Hey, thanks for playing the game, buddy. Nico goes in. Protobelt, you're dead. Just try to play the game. They're going to run it through the mid lane. You're not P-Zang, buddy. You're going to die. Pio 6 going to die. That is an ace, ladies and gents. And that's going to mean the end of the game. They'll run that through 30 minutes in. Thank you for watching. Good luck in your own games. If you get somebody inting with you, do not blame me. I am not and cannot be held responsible. Not just for this, but for anything in life. Um, let it be known to the authorities. Whatever I do, whatever I say, I cannot be held accountable. But I hope you guys have a great weekend. Thank you so much for tuning in. Check out Displate, description down below, and I'll catch you on the next video. Good night.